Okay, I got two great kind of Bible churchy words for you. Words that we don't really use in any other context, but I think are good words and important words. The first one is justification. Okay, justification. We are justified uh, before God. Justice is served through what Jesus has done for us. Okay, so we don't earn salvation. Okay, we do not achieve it. We don't deserve it. Uh, it's not like God's like, okay, I owe this to you. No, we're justified by faith in Jesus Christ, by receiving his grace and what he's done. And when we're justified in him, there is a change in us at the core of our identity, right? Right at the, the heart of the matter, our souls. Our souls are transformed. New life begins. We're reborn and being remade in the image of Jesus. And so while we're created in the image of God, through this relationship with Jesus and the justification that comes through his death on the cross, through his sacrifice, through the removing of sin from us, as far as the East is from the West, we receive this gift of justification. We're justified before God. So that when God looks at us, he sees the new creation. He sees himself. He sees purity and perfection and holiness. All these things that he declares and speaks over us and says that we are, we're justified by him, by his work and what he does. But then there's the second word, sanctification. We're sanctified. Now, sanctification is also the work of God. It's not our work, but God invites us into his work to participate with him. And so sanctification is this ongoing process. So justification happens, it's a moment, but then we're sanctified. Uh, the old self, the old nature, the old ways of thinking, the, the old mindsets, the selfishness, the sin, all those former patterns and thoughts of this world are being stripped away and removed. So that what God has done in us through his justification can now be expressed in greater measure and seen more fully as the old self is being removed. Sanctification. And so this journey here on earth and the things that we're experiencing as we walk with God and as we meet with him and as we engage in this relationship with him and the sparks fly. I mean, that's any healthy relationship. The sparks are going to fly. Well, in this relationship with God, the sparks fly, but, but that sets us on fire, and that fire brings refinement, and that refinement brings sanctification. We're being sanctified by God, so we're going through this process now where more of him is being revealed in us. And what a glorious and wonderful thing that is because our world is in desperate need of God's presence. They, they need to see him. Your family members and your friends and your neighbors and your coworkers and your classmates, they need to see him and they can see him in you. But the more that we are sanctified, the more that we engage in this relationship with God, the more we allow the sparks to fly and the old self to be burned away and this refinement to happen in us the more of his glory will be revealed through us. The more that others will see God's love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. And as that happens, there will be more people who will then turn to God and begin a relationship with him, and they too will be justified through Jesus Christ and then begin a process of sanctification. Guys, as God refines us, we are building into his eternal kingdom, and that's a life truly worth living. Let's go, church.